Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, I am going to talk about the fourth problem of code forces round 719 division 3. And the problem name is same differences. Okay, so actually, this problem is like pretty much easier than the like easy problems of B and C of this contest. Let's try to discuss this problem. We have been given an array A of n integers and we have to count the number of pairs valid indices i, g such that this condition is going to hold. That is, i should be strictly less than g and the difference between the values array values at these indices a j minus a i must be equal to j minus i and what are the count of such indices i comma j okay and there should be t test cases and going vary up to 2 into 10 power 5 and a i should be like less than equal to n so we must think for o of n or o of n log n solution under this given constraints okay you can easily see n is going to like at most 2 into 10 power 5 okay and for each test case we need to output the number of pairs valid pairs satisfying this condition okay so let us try to understand how the we are going to approach this solution in the best possible way okay you can easily see like a g minus a i must be equal to like j minus i and if we need to find it out the number of valid pairs you can easily see if i will just rearrange this equation it should be like a g minus g must be equal to a i minus i and a one thing that you should generalize for this equation like a j minus g must be equal to a i minus i you can easily see that uh, one thing that is going to be common should be like a of i that is for every index i that is, i am just writing down for any index i minus the index i that is if we consider the zero based indexing that is ith index of this array minus the index number that is i okay so if I will store the this value, let's say this value is x for every index i of this array, I can just easily answer the number of valid pairs i less than j. Okay, how we are going to do that? Let us try to take this, understand this by taking one example. Like uh, let us say I'm just taking it out. Okay, so I will take one three three four. So if I will say I'm just taking the pairs like one three three four. Okay, so one. 3 3 and 4 so if I will consider a zero based indexing let us try to find it out the value of this a of i minus i for every index i that is 1 minus 0 is 1 and 3 minus 1 is 2 and 3 minus 0 1 2 is 1 and you can see 4 minus 0 1 2 and 3 is coming out to be 1 so we can easily answer the total number of pairs let us see how we are going to answer you can easily see like uh, a j minus g must be equal to a of i minus i so i have stored basically a of i minus i that is uh, if you rearrange this equation it should be like uh, a of j minus j equals a of i minus i so i have just rearranged this equation i have stored this value a of i minus i so you can easily see there are only three uh, values that is only two distinct values and there are three to be same like one one and one okay so if we have x elements being equal like one 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 so number of ways to choose two distinct elements it should be like n c2 okay i'm just writing down as n c2 and what is n n is the count of this one so similarly i'm just doing it out for every distinct element okay so you can see if one is one of the uh, one of the distinct element what is the count of this one it is its count is coming like three and what is the number of ways to choosing any two of the elements note that i am choosing any two that is if i should be like less than j i should choose two elements if i will choose two elements it will always be like i less than j and you can easily see ncr will always choose the distinct element distinct pairs okay so I will choose R pairs and here R is going to be like 2. Okay. So I will choose any two from these dish, these ones. Okay. So if I will choose either this one or this one or I will choose this one or this one or I will choose this one and this one. You can see 3C2 is coming out to be like 3. And this is for the distinct, uh, the distinct type equal to 1. And what about distinct type equal to this 2? You can see the count is coming out to be 1 and 1c2 is not valid or you can easily see choosing two elements from this only one element will always give in like 0 okay 
so i'm just doing it out for every distinct element okay you can, so you can just easily store the frequency of this a of i minus i okay so rather than i have just one more idea to solve this one how what is that idea let me just elaborate in a more detail okay so uh, it is uh, pretty much clear that i need to store a of i minus i in a map okay so i will just store the a of i minus i in a map okay so i'm just storing this value of a of i minus i for every index i belongs to this 1 to n okay now you can see at a certain step of iteration if i will store a of i minus i in a map and again if we find uh, another value or you can say let's say a of i minus i let's say x at for a particular i and in a later step of iteration if i will again find this entry in a map i will increment my answer okay i will write it down i will increment my answer with the value that i with the frequency that is already present in this map okay so i will increment with this let's say mp is the map and map is just storing the frequency of what a of i minus i so i will increment my answer with this value that is which is already i have stored in the map and for every index i have i will also increment my this value a of i minus i so this is one of the again methods or you can easily solve by doing like a store all the frequencies like a of i minus i for every index i in a map and just find it out the number of ways to choose for every distinct element let's say map will contain uh, like uh, a's frequency let's say a is like a of i minus i a particular value as x and b as like some a of i minus i as y so my answer would be like x c2 plus y c2 and so on for every distinct element okay so let us move on to the code you can easily see i have just used my second method because i found it much frequent okay so i just use a map and this code is like of four or five lines and just take the input increment your answer with the previous values stored in the map answer plus equal to mp of a minus i and also increment the entry in a map also okay finally print the answer so this is giving you accepted code so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and to subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video